Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this is Farmer Bob and and yes, a warm welcome guys. If this is your first time, don't hesitate, don't think about it, just hit that subscribe right now. <laughs> just do it man, don't don't worry about it. And uh, hit that like button as well, as well as the notifications. Yes guys, um, it's a new day and a new video. So um, today's video, I've uh, decided to uh, make a video on how to make custom animal pins for your map so <laughs> yes here we are guys in tiny the small map everyone uh, that's following the the series of map making is probably familiar with tiny if you're not check out my um, video series under my playlist called map creation there is a map editing series and um, yeah just follow it down there you will definitely see it all there. Great man, guys. So, uh, yeah, in tiny, uh, I was thinking uh, to to stay to make it simple and um, um, make it easy. We'll customize the cow shed because in in this game here, the cow shed is the uh, small one. It's the small one, so we're gonna make a nice, huge, big one, <laughs> uh, and customize it. Make the area bigger, so the cows has got more space to walk around. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that today. So hopefully, it will be helpful to someone. There has been a few requests in the past, but uh, yeah, I finally thought uh, let let's do it, man. <laughs> Good, excellent, guys. So grab yourself uh, your favorite drink and uh, sit down and relax. And yeah, let's learn together. And yeah, this is all live, guys. I haven't prepared nothing, so um, we're gonna just jump in and do it. So if mistakes happen, mistakes happen, <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not too fussed about it, you know. So yes, let's do it. Okay, good. First of all, we want to get a large cow shed because these tiny ones, um, they are not uh, so nice. So I'm gonna delete this one from the map. So we're gonna go hit that one, delete, boop, and there you go. It's all gone. Um, and then obviously we want to make some space there uh, for the cows um, let me just quickly think let me just quickly think that's the chickens down there so I think the easiest will be just to move um, all the animals up you know the chicken is there the pigs are next in line so let's move the pigs here to where the cows were I can just uh, piggyback on the old concrete slab here <laughs> save a bit of time so let's do it there now remember now if you edit something on your map you're gonna have to go and change all of this in the um the default items.xml because that's the one that loads in your uh loads in your uh husband reason all your all your mods and everything that you um, are working with first list i don't want to get rid of the trees now because we're going to use it just now sheep small Let's move the sheep up. Now the sheep doesn't have a concrete pad, so um, we're going to just move this one up. But I mean, editing the, the default items, I'll do that anyway with you guys later on, because we're going to um, we're going to be moving. I'm going to put this tree here this time. Uh, so there's a, a lot of a bit of clearing work to do, guys. Um, obviously. So let me just get back here to the sheep. Uh, place all this sheep small let's move them up let's move them up let's move them up what I will do is later on on my own time I will come and clean this up because all this little um, troughs and things needs to be cleaned now again and the places where the old ones was like there and there needs to be filled in with grass again because otherwise you're gonna have this empty patches on your map you know like so <laughs> good all right so there we are We've got gotten rid of um, the old cow shed. Is there enough space on this side for the pigs uh, or the chickens? No, that's going to be a bit. Uh, that's going to be a bit too. Um, will it? Yeah. Yeah, I think the tractor will fit in there. Let's leave it like that. That's fine. No sweat at all. Good. All right. So the next thing is we want to go and fetch a large cow husbandry from the from the map good so what we're going to do is go to your farming simulator install directory go to data um, data and then placeables animal husbandry open 
the husbandry cow lodge that's the one we want so you open that don't copy it don't paste it just open it in giants editor and once you've got the whole thing you can select it go uh, file export selection with files because you want the right thing i've already done it just to just to uh, play around you know just to see that everything works um, so here it is so all you do is uh, uh, put the same name in there, Husband the Cow Lodge. You can copy it here from the from the transform name. I will suggest that because it helps a lot to keep it standard and don't change the names because you're going to get confused and your XML is not going to work. So keep that name the same, everything the same. Just copy it and paste it. That's the safest way to do it. If you forgot to copy it, you can cancel and reselect and just copy that name here at the transform and make sure it's there. All right. And then you go save. I'm going to do it for you. Do you want to replace your, you won't have that question, but I do. These two, you say, no, you don't want the nothing because you want everything to go with the mod. All right. So there it is. So now we can close it and we can go into tiny. Um, and once again, my tiny has disappeared. I don't know why it does that. Windows is uh, um, nailing me. Yeah. All right. There you go. Um, maybe we should change this order of this thing and just move it up here. No, it's already. Can I move it? Uh, let's just leave it. Okay. Tiny. Add-ons. Uh, where did we put it? Where did we put it? Maps. Placeables. I've created a directory. Animals. There it is. Animals. And there it is. This, believe it or not, all of this is all the files for the, cus uh, for the custom cow because um, now we've got a custom mod because we've exported the mod with all its uh, its shaders its uh, um, textures everything so all all the things is in this folder so you just leave it like that and there's your your custom uh, cow now so if you open this now I would suggest after you've exported just do it once just to make sure there's no errors and you check here at the bottom there shouldn't be any errors if you've got any error the error there you cannot continue you have to redo it or fix it up or whatever uh, but you can't use it if there's errors on it all right so now that we know it's fine we can go back to the map and now we're going to actually import that um, very important on your map um, you have to consider land because in tiny there is very little space obviously because it's a tiny little map so um, a good idea is to just run to your in info layer to farmlands and have a check where your lands are so that you know the boundaries because here i'm going to use this whole area for cows i think we're going to go like this make this whole area a cow pasture you know nice and big uh, maybe like an, an l shape type of thing with the with the cow shed here or here in the corner rather rather here and then all the animals can walk this way you know um, you hold alt and then you can with your left mouse button scroll around while you are holding alt um, so yeah we can make that cow posture maybe here yeah, up to the up to the road and then bring it along this little road and then maybe around here up there so it's a nice huge cow thing that we can make um, all right so let's do that for now um, what I've done also just to um, to sort of figure out where the where the borders are i've planted the tree just duplicate the tree and put it on the border so that i know where where the where the edge is you see there it is so i mustn't go beyond this tree and this line goes straight down right to the road so if i stick to that tree as the border then i know i'll be safe if i plant a fence here um, when creating the map if you want to make sure about farmlands and borders you can put the fence down and then do your farm farmlands that's easier because now in the game itself you you're not going to really know where the fence is you know where the border is of your farm <laughs> so in a sense all stuff to think of when you are creating maps guys but for tiny obviously we just um didn't bother doing that type of nice things you know great okay so we have to consider that tree that's our border the rest of it is this side and i've always been wanting to put a little a dust road in here for this side of the uh, silo so we'll do that later on in the um, 
in the uh, off screen in the edit all right go file import that's our net thing make sure animals husband cow so bring it in we're gonna drop it immediately into our placeholders so cut it from there control x uh, I'm gonna collapse because then we can just go straight here to uh, come on the gameplay placeholders folder control V to paste it in there and there it is control B to actually place it so drop it somewhere here it should be fine now you can see the difference eh? this is a large cow shed <laughs> and I think in game it can handle I think it's 250 cows if not if not yeah i can't remember now what the spec is we'll have to check the the xml and by the way guys uh, i forgot to mention you have to copy the xml because the xml doesn't export from the map so while i'm thinking on that let's quickly do that data um placeables animal husbandry and it was husbandry cow large husbandry cow large xml there it is so this one we have to copy over because uh, now we're not going to have a xml so let's just drop that in here paste it now it's got an xml all right so without the xml and i think in here you would um, be able to modify uh, a lot of the stuff there should be a place max angle somewhere i think you can modify the amount of cows um, but yeah we'll have a look at that later on it's not important now the edit is now more important okay good um back in the editor and uh, it is just uh, quickly have a look at this uh, cow shed of ours and this is the cow sh the large cow shed this tree i'm gonna have to definitely move it about and just put it there i think that should be all right for now and now we can move this thing um i'm gonna just quickly have a look i think the feeding trot is on this side there you go um the animal cell and bias in here and then our water is there so i'm thinking these things we can move around now so um we're going to customize this um mod and then once we're done with it we're just going to export it that's all we're basically going to do so guys it's as easy as just move everything where you want it uh where you want them to be just going to close all this up there you go husband you cow all right great so first of all the fencing so i think what i want to do i don't want to make the video too long and uh, do all the boring stuff but the fencing is probably going to take the the most time because they are in sections if you look at it like this so let me get the fencing out of the way um let me just see where is that other tree that's it there or was it now that one there how oh, they suddenly two two trees I better have a look so i don't want to put that fence too far so let us quickly have a look here to our farmland let's make sure which tree it is now oh yes okay so it's that one there okay good so um just to get that fencing out of the way i'm going to just push it up to there and we know then i'm gonna do it like that all right and the rest of the stuff you can move about as as you want course those are uh, um, it's just going to be part of the the i3d you know so it doesn't matter where you put them um, I'm thinking for this one we can swing it that way like so and always try and stick to the um, to the zeros you know just keep everything angled and it's going to be much easier right so let's try it like there and then this little warning stripes for it i can't select it there you go put it in there uh, swing it uh, rotate it 90 like so 
I'm just quickly moving it about guys um, it's not really um, that important now that is our manure hip walls uh, the manure liquid manure pit manure hip walls uh, let's put it next to this um, thing as like so and then just shoot that to 90 degrees I think that is fairly okay like that great and this obviously is our um, our straw trigger now the straw trigger um, I'm not not always too sure why to sure why there should be a, st a straw trigger here um, what I mean is it's got three humps normally you'll just chuck straw in your um, what do you call it inside of your um, shed not in the grass you know so um, what I want to do now is move the trigger let me just have a look there that is the the straw planes we don't want to move the planes the planes must stay but this trigger it's got that trigger there in front and I can't separate it hmm that's gonna be an issue but at least we can uh, we can move the planes so let us move the whole trigger then and move the planes back that's what we're going to do so I'm gonna put the the straw trigger here and move its little warning stripes together with it that's going to be quite a quite a job to do that I'm just going to put it there um, straw trigger where is it now just going to close this fences uh, straw trigger all right So the best will be to take this little um, warning stripe for the straw trigger and put that where you want it and then just move the move the trigger over it that's going to be the best like so good all right so now now you'll see the straw is here um, it's going to fall over there so what we're going to do now with the straw plates if I lift, I just want to see, make a note of the, the Y. It's 0 to 7, uh, minus 0 0.27. So if you, because this needs to be at the right height, guys. So, so always keep that at, at the right height where it was placed. So 0 0.27. Uh, let me just control Z there like that. And then take that plane, leave that one, that one and this one all right so that two planes we can just move back into the shed uh, and that one also move that back in the shed you can obviously move these things now around size them up make them bigger all the all the ways that you uh, you want to do that it's always better to to lift this thing a little bit because then you can see um, you can actually see where they are you can always push them the whole transform back down again once you've finished aligning them you know so at the moment it's difficult to see where it is suppose that is fairly okay still point three bring that in a bit yeah that's all right like that all right and then this one here i'm going to enlarge plane number two a bit like so why can't i select that little poppy there there you go Ooh, not too big Whoop, whoop. Uh, let's just rotate it a bit uh, where is my green there it, it's difficult to see it <laughs> okay I'm just gonna leave it like this guys I'm not gonna fiddle too much you get the idea you know the whole idea is just to show you how to do it you can on your own time fiddle around with it and whatever so now the Y was um, point 
uh, minus 0.27 uh, so it is minus 0.27 right so very important to stick to that height guys because then then your uh, straw uh, it's going to look all right okay so then uh, obviously the most important thing um, is the meshes we'll get to that now let's just work with our trough our water trough and it's always important to to select this on the transform don't move a plane or what or that without it because otherwise you're going to have a problem uh, let's just see 180 so the triggers on that side I want to put the water trough here so we're gonna have to go to minus 90 I think no, it is minus 180 it's minus 180 oh why is it like that zero man <laughs> when all else fails guys okay place it here Ooh, okay 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 somewhere there yeah that's all right for now and then the same thing with that um little um stripes zero that um control b just place it in front of the water trough so it's where the trigger is and you can align those on your own time and fiddle with it and then this this trigger here for the for the um, animal load trigger we also want to move that out of the way so I think let's rotate that um, 90 degrees um, push that in here maybe a little bit this way and the same with its trigger or loading trigger whatever you call those things um, just put it there and then rotate that 90 degrees and bring that oops uh, animal load trigger uh, now we want this thing here the warning stri stripes and spend some time aligning that nicely on your own time great so you get the idea you can move everything around um, that's nice um, until you're happy with it and then the fencing you can place the fencing all around just one thing bear in mind guys this fence has got a gate uh, trigger on it um, where is it fences uh, somewhere there's a, a gate trigger there it is all right so just keep in mind that you have to move the gate trigger as well for that little gate that's in the fence all right to work okay so um, the most important thing once you've laid out your area where where you want to have your cows to walk now the navigation meshes is, is is a mesh that basically shows the cows where they need to walk and currently if you go to your visuals and you go to the planes the nav mesh planes these are currently the areas that restrict the cows where they need to walk so we want to just sh uh, place these and resize them and reshape them until um, until we have the whole area that you want to place under meshes you know now if you open that is one two three four five six I'll suggest guys don't add to this or take away I've had problems in the past then it gives you errors like this the child objects are missing and I don't know what all nonsense so stick to these ones that are there and just resize them to fit the area that you want or you can play around with it it doesn't matter <clears throat> if you have errors just redo uh, just save your uh, your mod before you start um, editing the meshes or taking away from from the, the the mesh planes okay I don't know if they fixed it or it has been fixed or whatever so I'm going to what I'm going to do is um, enlarge this a little bit more bring that out there like so okay and then we're going to have a fence obviously run up here to the edge of this building and then around here and then we're going to try and sh push the cows in there okay um, a tip quick uh, make this thing visible then you can uh, you can see the actual uh, planes it's going to be much easier to work with them all right good so that's our first plane now our second plane so we're going to move that up 
and now this one we can size nice and big same size as that one and just remember to overlap them like a tiny bit just that they are over each other 78.391 is that one <coughs> 78.382 copy that chop that in there and we know they're exactly the same size right and then you just stab it like that good and then shape them nice and big oh i must remember now where that tree is can't go too big eh? <laughs> like so that tree is the end of our property i'll leave it like that because then there's a little bit of space for um, for that and here is our load trigger so i'll have to adjust that as well and then the third plane um, we can uh, use that one to shape it in here the bottom of this field shape this a bit bigger like that like that bigger i think that's a nice big area for the cows to walk and then that one there and that one and that one so we can have that two planes still uh, that one there which i'm going to just push back into the cow shed i could have actually just left that um, by default you know so the cows can walk up to the feeding trough here so otherwise they won't be able to feed Just make sure you don't go underneath that because otherwise your cows is going to jump on there and cause errors good oh it's too short i'm going to have to extend it a bit Whoop. let me just have it like that so i can see where it needs to go and then also extend it some more like i say let them overlap there in the back a little bit rather I think that is great guys and then that one there <coughs> and this last one was that one and one thing with these uh, meshes guys look at your uh, your y value is zero so always never uh, lift them up and down because um, if they are not the same on the same plane you're going to have problems with your mesh it's probably going to give you errors I've uh, always just realized just stick to stick to uh, having them at exactly the same height um, and you won't have problems okay not to go underneath okay and then there is that last one which was a tiny one there here yeah, on our tiny map bring that in there oops and obviously we want to rotate uh, make that zero bring that in here like that it's a bit annoying you know to um, to have this thing exactly right but it's spent a bit of time and you'll be a happy man make this a bit bigger it can go a little bit more sorry you just pulled the dot <laughs> okay i think our cows oh, it can actually go a bit more let's bring it back let's try and it's strange that they um enlarge it on both sides you know right okay i think that's great guys all right so once you've got that mesh all sorted out and the way you want it 
what you need to do now is create a new navigation mesh for it because at the moment if you go to view show navigation meshes you'll see that there is the current mesh for that so that one we're going to delete just make a note where it is it's at um index path 61188 so it's just under the mock tank all right so that's in fairly important i don't think it will make a huge difference but yeah where it is but yeah we just make a note where it is underneath the mock tank above the visuals all right so now we go back to nerve mesh planes i just had a, a screen freeze there for something um at this point i would suggest just save your save your map just to be safe i'm just going to have a nice sip of nice coffee which my dear wifey brought me i'm so grateful for that mm. i hope you're having something nice to drink as well now i don't know what is going on with this screen of mine suddenly it's done that a few times in the past and i thought i've sorted it out i thought it's a, a um, um, cable not making contact you know something like that all right anyways so now what you need to do is you click on nav meshes nav mesh planes and then you go create uh, nav mesh navigation mesh sorry okay I hope I do this right trying to remember all these things <laughs> good all right now in here guys there's three things that you need to um, need to stick uh, or stay aware of is the first one is the radius now the radius here at the agent the radius is the size that the mesh allows for the animal and otherwise it's the radius of the animal so so a larger animal will have a, a bigger radius and a smaller animal obviously a smaller one now I've, I've, sc I've scanned the, um, the wiki for um, uh, giants and I found the sizes for the different animals cows is 1.2 um, sheep is 0 0.7 chicken is 0 0.15 and pigs is 0 0.7 I could not find anything for horses but I would suggest that they are going to be 1.2 the same as cows so that's probably why they're going to have a size for it um, so and then obviously so the first thing is the radius that you need to set so we are working with cows so we make that 1.2 the second thing is your shape build mask um, you click on that and you have channels here for the different animals or different things uh, on the mesh so um, zero is for cows one is for sheep two is for chicken and three is for pigs i suppose four is for horses once again, I couldn't find anything for horses, but yeah, I'm going to take a wild guess and say it is uh, f uh, four is for horses. So we're working with, sh with cows, making sure that is zero. We click OK. And then don't worry about the one there because in, uh, in, the, in the bit, it is actually zero. So just know that you just select zero there for it. Good. And then... Um, in the terrain tessellation the culling info layer channel you also want to have the same as your shape build mask so zero there once again just make sure it's zero and that's it that's the three things that is important here the rest you leave by default and you just say create now don't freak out now once you click create it's going to chuck you out of giants editor but it's not going to close your map so I've, i hope i hope everything's going to be all right we did save the map so if something goes wrong we can always just load again you know and carry on from where we are currently so let's click create Bloop. okay now nothing has happened oh my gosh oh it's busy let me just see there it is okay it was just busy working okay now i am stumped because because now i can't do nothing there it is did it create the mesh nav mesh there it is okay let's just have a look at it now that nav mesh is not that's an error okay guys um if you have the same problem as i do there is a workaround for that um so let's just delete that mesh 
delete it. So what you're going to do now is go back to our nav mesh where we were where we were. I've tested this in the in the cow um, just the husbandry on its own, not in a map. So the problem is you cannot do it this way in the map. So what you do is I'm gonna show you go here to the planes and you go file export selection not with files just export selection chuck it on the desktop uh, just call it um, mesh like so save it there all right so now we go to the desktop if we now go to desktop there should be a thing called mesh if i can just find it there it's mesh.i3d all right so we're going to open that now go okay Great, and there it is. You see, that is how our mesh is looking now. All right, so there it is. So what we do now is you go nav mesh, create um, na navigation mesh, and go through the same stories again. One point two. Uh, here we go to zero. Make sure everything is zero there okay um, and then that one is zero it's one two three things all right so create right and there you are you see okay so now we have a nav mesh there it is so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to use this nav mesh now in our um, in our um, um, what do you call it in our uh, uh, map go okay, we save this bloop bloop just like so close it and then we go back to our map and once we now there just want to get it like that file import desktop mesh i3d there it is now these ones we can delete the nav mesh planes we just want this nav mesh you cut it drop it uh, drop it here in your husbandry cow lodge paste it right and then everything should be A4 away and then just take the old one uh, which was there above the milk delete that one because we don't use that one anymore we take this one right click move up right click move up right click move up just carry on moving it up to its original spot just above just beneath that milk thing right there okay good and that was at uh, 6189 all right so that is cool and that is all there is to it guys so now that you have your uh, your new cow uh, walking area um, um, sort of um, laid out for them now you can fence it nicely and um, move everything about the way you want it and once you're done with it once you're done with everything close the 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 transform select the husbandry just the cow husbandry transform now you go file select uh, ex export selection with files and then we go to uh, tiny which is there go to your directory where you've saved it it is maps uh, placeables animals and there it is select the husbandry cow i3d go save and you say do you want to replace it you say yes i do do you want the directory structure no to both of those and you are all done now the next thing to do obviously is um, now that you have it all set up you go and edit your uh, default items xml which i've showed you guys many times already how to do that just go here to default items and now just a few things I need to change here because I've already set mine up at the husband the cow um, data placeables and now remember this is that uh, um, in tiny we use the in-game one so now we're gonna have to go map to slash control C in there uh, husbandry cow let's just do the right thing now paste it in there 
and then so we want the map to slash and then we go to our directory itself where um, where our um, default or our custom cow is so that is animals and there it is so we take this it is maps placeables animals control C very important I just always copy and paste because then I know the spelling is right and we're gonna go up to there paste it change the slashes to forward like so and like so and then husband to cowers need to change because that XML now uh, we've copied that XML if you remember it is now husbandry cow large so we copy that control C go back to our XML mm. and overwrite this one did I now copy the XML as well I can't remember yeah just dot XML good all right so husbandry cow large is now done so that is our directory so it will load the animal husbandry and it will load from the map there maps placeables animals it will load that xml so we're going to check that xml just now because i'm sure there might be some stuff we need to change where the i3d is because that is going to be important because the xml actually loads the i3d and the i3d is the one which we've customized good because the current xml has got the, the default um, animal one in the installation of the game you know so we don't want that all right so back to the map first let's get the um, the values just make a note of the x y and z it's all three and zero so just to make things simple and easy control shift c to copy the three uh, translation of the um, position there so we overwrite this by selecting and control v just overwrite that and there you are rotation is still zero 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 good default form property must be true form id is one that is great guys okay so that's all we need to do here but remember now it's a custom mod so now we have to edit the mod disk file as well for tiny so let me just open uh open tiny in a new window here because we're going to keep that one open grab the mod disk here at the bottom here at store items you want to add a new store data so click on the line on the side control C go to the back enter once press the home button control V to paste few deletes to bring that one back and there you are now now we're going to overwrite this one with the same one that's in the default items so we're going to take this one just from maps you don't have to tell that one um, about the map there so you copy that after the map this so you just copy that part there and overwrite this part here control V and there it is guys now we've got store items for for the husband and cow lodge and now we can save this too we finished with them and that one save that one close let's not close them now but let's just go to um, to the XML for husband and cow lodge now this we need to also tell it where the husband cow lodge i3d is lying this one um, at the image i never bother about that um, the store husband cow lodge i think it should bring that one in as well let's just see if there's a store um, store 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 for it no oh, there is no store but i never bother with that i leave that the in-game store data um, it's just an icon for it in the store you know so that one it can it can keep that one in the game that's fine we, we didn't customize any of that so this is what we want to change so go back to the mod desk uh, we're going to take this whole thing up to the slash control C copy because that's our directory that it needs to point to the i3d so and we overwrite this boy up to the slash control V so it's maps placeables animals husbandry cow lodge let's just verify that maps placeables animals husbandry cow lodge is the i3d good so that is it um, and then just for interest sake um, I just want to quickly 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 check um, like I said in the past guys uh, the clear areas and leveling areas you can um, foilage areas um, that you can delete from the from the um, from the placeable 
but um, it doesn't really matter you can actually leave that there too because um, we've we've modified it now all right anyways animals let's just quickly have a look data character animals that's uh, actual cows that we eat food water liquid manure milk straw um, tip collision husbandry I'm not going to look around too much for it now but I know there's a place where you can set the amount of cows uh, carrying capacity man there it is my eye just caught it okay now max number of animals is 200 now that we want to make 500 okay now carrying capacity is what it's going to show on the field in other words it can't show 500 animals because they will bump into each other and they, it will give errors so the carrying capacity is how many animals it will display for you little cows walking around so just keep that in mind guys leave that at 50 it should be more than enough if you feel you've got a very large area you can bump that number up but the, the max number of animals is the one we want to modify good right and then we can just save that one and then hopefully all is well with our mod and then um, we can go in here and what I'm going to do now guys is I'm go going to just um, I think I'm just going to move this mind you that straw thing it's just a trigger it shouldn't bother the cows they're going to bump into this fence so maybe I must just move this fence out of the way um, gas table uh, fence 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 where is it straw trigger did I miss it somewhere here is a fence visual area I think uh, no it is part of the visual sorry man that's why fences there it is just gonna move it out of the way so the cows don't bump into it now all right and the tree that's fine actually the tree might be a problem too so let us just move this little tree out of the way too can I still select it yes control B to place it great okay everything out of the way no cows is gonna trip on something <laughs> fall over something <laughs> great okay so excellent collapse all close it up um, go view uh, show took, take off the meshes uh, this thing I want to just set it back to uh, empty map placeholders husbandry cow where is it now oh it's at the bottom keep on forgetting it's gonna go to our uh, visuals uh, our nav mesh planes let's make that invisible again because otherwise you're going to have that in your map you don't want that in your map good i'm just going to leave it like so and then export the map first save it obviously collapse all have a nice view so we when we get into the map again everything should be fine mm, nice coffee guys okay so one while that is saving i'm going to see you in the game i'll ch catch up with you then great guys so this is the first start <laughs> i just thought i'll have to show you um a small error um that popped up i see here uh, error i3d um it says here uh, mods tiny maps placeables animals husbandry cow lodge could not be found all right so now immediately i didn't even notice these two ashes so i've made a mistake in one of my um and i suppose it's in the um, uh, um what do you call it in the husbandry cow lo lodge xml file all right so i'm going to uh, quickly fix that and i'll be back in a flash or let me just quickly show you um where it is let me just quickly show you now because obviously now it's not going to um, load the game or the the cow thing um, there it is already open you just get back to that obviously now it it will go through this whole thing of loading the game again oh my word all right until you can quit it 
and there it is file name um, that's how easy you can make a mistake so just save that um, in there save it and now obviously we need to do that in the mods folder too uh, open tiny just browse there to uh, where is that it is in the animals husband D okay maps placeables animals and it should be in here husband recall large XML in there so here now we can just grab this one where we just saved maps placeables animals I'm just overwriting it in the in the mod itself so that I've got it on both on my actual development side as well as um, where is the XML oh, I don't see it here it is just drop it in there just update the archive and there it is now we can close the mod sorry close the mod and rush back to the game and let's just see if it now goes in it's luckily you know if there's a error sometimes then um, it can I can also like sort of show you how to how easily it can happen you know that you have problems and stuff happen you know that's just how life is <laughs> okay tiny continue uh, deselect and obviously I just want my easy development tools so that we need in case we need something there and now let's just see if it runs through all the uh, load all all the stuff without having any errors all right can't load resource uh, tiny data sound prefab gate gate loop okay <laughs> okay the sounds I uh, totally forgot about the sounds for that small little gate so the sounds also doesn't export I don't know why it doesn't export because probably because it's in the XML and everything in the XML is not included in the i3d so um, the XML loads the sounds for that little gate but the good thing is the the the, the i3d loaded perfect no error it just says it couldn't find these sounds so i'll fix that with you now everything else looks great so let's just start the map and let's run to our new custom cow shed <laughs> actually we can find it on the map so let's just run there there it is let's visit it oh my word i've somehow got it up in the air how did I place it up there? The XML loaded, uh, loaded it up in the air. I'm gonna have to see why it's up there. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why would it be in the air? Somehow, somehow, I messed up in the in the um, in the default items. Okay, let me fix that up. The default items is uh, um, messed up, so I'm gonna fix that up, and I'll be ba be back with you in a flash. Um, while I'm there, let's quickly uh, just look at that sounds. Um, quit the game. Let me show you just the sound. While uh, I've got that up in the air, don't understand. But anyways, right. So now to go back to our uh, quickly go back to our error. We go into the 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 my games documents my games farming simulator directly for your log. Just run down to the errors somewhere there. I quickly saw them. We have looped there. So it wants to find um, data sounds prefab gate gate loop all the gate stuff. So it's data sounds prefab. It thinks it's in tiny, but it's not. So we need to copy those sounds into tiny data. So we have to create a data folder here in tiny. Um, just go down to yeah let's use this one because obviously we have a data folder and then sounds let's just make a new thing here for folder for sounds all right so get back in here it's data sounds prefab gate oh my word why on earth um i'm just going to leave it at sounds i'm going to copy it straight into sounds we'll modify that xml um, just to get it the right um, directory for it okay so 
In the other folder, uh, let's go to Farming Simulator, Data, um, uh, what was that now? Data, Sounds, Prefab, Gate. Okay, so this three is what it's looking for. So we're going to copy that gate, uh, copy that, copy that, copy, and then just drop that into our tiny and the data sounds paste it in here and there you go so now our directory is data sounds and we just need to go into uh, that i've already done fix up tiny uh, maps placeables and then into animals and then our xml will be here and normally your sounds is right at the bottom if i can just scroll there uh, not in this case. I normally found them here or find them here. Um, there you go, sounds. All right, so we just need to change this now to this directory at gate. So it uh, just close that one, otherwise it's going to mess us around. Maps, um, data, tiny data, sounds. Right, so copy that. So we want data sounds. Just copy that. And oh, it's already there. So I can actually just delete the, the rest of this nonsense here. So prefab and gate, we can delete. Like so, prefab and gate. Like so, prefab and gate. There you go. All right, and there you are. Now the sounds is happy. There shouldn't be a problem with that anymore. Just need to remember to fix that up. And then now, obviously, the next thing is our um, our map and our ITD. All right, so I'll fix that up, and then I'll catch you once that is done. Okay, guys, so I've sort of figured out what's going on here. I think I know what's going on. Um, the the husbandry cow here it is it's got 99.949 .9 for elevation so if you look at the others uh chicken all of them are 99 so there is no problem with my um with my height there's definitely not a problem with the height but then i remembered when you export the mod it's going to export the mod with these values um the R3D. So what is going to happen then when the XML now loads it, it's going to import, uh, it's going to load it and it's going to add this values towards it. So now either you can zero uh, these ones in the uh, in the XML for default items or it's better to d actually do it in the R3D itself. So what we're going to do to fix the problem is we're going into animal husbandry not that one sorry uh, tiny um, maps uh, placeables animals and we're going to open this i3d because this is where the problem lies because remember we exported it overwrite it with that values so if you click on it here yeah, now you see so we have to just zero this that's all that needs to happen always remember to do that because otherwise you're going to run into this weird weird problems <laughs> and be sure to have the main transform selected and now if we save it just like that it should all be fine because remember the xml the default items is going to load this i3d um, into into the game this actual one so this xml points to that one and that's going to be loaded and now it's zero it's going to use the default items um the default items uh, um placement placement to put it down now everything should be fine guys <laughs> so basically i've modified two files um and i forgot to tell you <clears throat> when i went into the game i remembered that i modified the chickens uh, not the chickens the sheep and the pigs Remember, I moved them, so I also just updated those um, to be safe, you know. So there you are. So now, um, I think it's best if I just save the map. Uh, mind you, I didn't do any changes here, did I? Uh, yeah, let's just save changes here, just to be safe. And I'll just re-export the whole thing. <clears throat> and then test. And let's see 
let's see it's exciting guys very exciting good so let me let me catch you when we load in great guys so let's have a look let's see if there's any errors this time i don't think there should be or there would be but let's just check because there wasn't the previous load there we go everything there's our cows everything no sound errors so yeah i think now we've got it all going great great right let's just uh, visit our cow shed and hopefully it will be on the ground <laughs> yes and there it is good okay so now uh just one problem i've got the meshes on um somehow there's something wrong with the meshes so yeah let's just uh, not worry about that now just want to see press r let's buy a few cows black and white uh, let's just uh, move let's grab a few here yeah. 90 grand of cows space to confirm and there they are guys um, let us just fly a bit uh, see how it's running and there you are the only hassle is um, uh, my meshes is showing so I think maybe I forgot to make them visible so just tune that in the in the game uh, in the in the giants editor and there it is guys that is your custom mod for cows oh yeah you see I've moved that um, that fence I've moved that so how is it possible the fence is still there did I forget to save I can't, can't remember now but anyways there's definitely a mesh a mesh thing and that flickering is just when I move my mouse guys so that's just basically a mesh doing that all right so that is how you do a custom mod for animals now you can do that with your um, with your chickens and your and your sheep and your pigs modify and remember you don't have to stick to this building guys or even the fence you can change and chop that the way you want you don't have to stick to those uh, type of buildings you can modify the building put another building in there if you don't like this um, and obviously there's still a lot of stuff to do like look at this water trough trigger thing is in up in the air <laughs> and I have to put the fencing around but I'll do that off screen the idea of the video was just to show you how to make a custom cow or a custom animal um, a, a pen extension or what do you call it great well guys thank you so so much for watching I really hope it's helped a bit um, I know it's it's a bit of a challenge and a long story but yeah it is not that difficult and i think anyone can do it um, it is really um, that simple all right guys have a wonderful wonderful day remember to subscribe and to like the like is very good because it helps my channel for the videos to be found on youtube and that's the best you can do for me <laughs> great man thank you so much guys until next time cheers